Okay, big sigh of relief, Montreal Canadiens fans, as Sammy Nikiu, who was placed on the waivers yesterday, has indeed cleared. This means that he'll likely head over to either the AHL, where he'll suit up with the Laval Rocket, or maybe the Taxi Squad? I'm not really too sure what the rules are there for the NHL and the Taxi Squad, but... Either way, Sam Inikyu was exposed to the entire NHL for free, and nobody decided to pick him up right here. Who is Sam Inikyu? Well, he's 25 years old, 6'1", 194, a left-handed defenseman. It's been kind of weird for Sam Inikyu, to be honest, because when you take a look at the lineup role that Inikyu has with this team... You usually talk about a few other guys as well. You talk about Kale Clegg, who has been a pretty bad defenseman for the Canadians, and you also talk about Chris Weidman, who has also been, let's just say, not really the best in general. Now, Sam Inikyu isn't really the bee's knees himself, either. I'd go out there on a limb and say that he's probably been the best amongst the three, but only by a very slight margin. Sam Inikyu this season has six points in 13 Montreal Canadiens games, and he's got a plus three. The point per game number is not bad, the plus three certainly is not bad either, but Inikyu was seen as the odd man out. Why? Well, honestly, it's tough to say why. Weidman and Kyle Clegg both are other guys that I think you could go out there and say, should the Canadians get somebody back, like a Joel Edmondson, for example, would deserve to come out of the lineup more. But the thing is, those guys don't really have the same guarantee of passing through waivers as a Sammy Niku does. For Niku, you gotta remember, this guy passed through waivers once before. He was a member of the Winnipeg Jets earlier on this season, and they sent him on waivers for the purpose of contract termination, and it went through. Nobody claimed him, they terminated the contract, which is why he became a free agent and eventually went to Montreal and signed a one-year contract here. But now that he was on waivers again, hey, guess what? Nothing really changes. Nobody goes out there and claims him the first time, nobody goes out there and claims him the second time. You definitely don't have the same guarantees with a Kale Clegg or a Chris Weidman, Especially since these guys have different reputations. Kale Clegg, okay, he was claimed by Montreal off of being placed on waivers by LA. Weidman was brought over as a KHL specialist on the power play to be a Montreal Canadian specialist on the power play. And to be fair, you could honestly argue that Nikki is better than both of these guys, especially when you take a look at some of the production that these players have. Weidman has 10 points in 28 games played right now, and you take a look at where... Kale Clegg is, he's all the way down there at one point in 10 games. While Sam Inikyu has indeed outproduced some of these guys with his 6 points in 13 games, I definitely do think there is some more development time that you can go out there and say that Niku could use, especially in the AHL. He's always been a very good AHL point producer. He had 14 points in 18 Manitoba Moose games a few years ago, but... This season, going over to Laval, it would be a pretty good boost for their defensive core. And plus, once the Canadians go out there and probably trade some other defensemen, like Ben Sherratt, like whoever else is coming to mind over there, you could just call Niku up once again, have him playing, maybe in a middle six power play role, and go from there. There are indeed some interesting conversations to have, though, about Niku, and one of them comes to us here from Marc Olivier Baudouin. He says this, translated into English, We will know in less than four hours if Sammy Niku has been claimed on waivers. This is not an important issue, you will tell me. But the question I ask is, if he is not claimed, will he report to Laval or ask to break his contract? To be continued. Now, that to me is not really an issue, I don't really think that Niku would ask to have his contract terminated again. He just cleared waivers twice in this season, so... I don't really think there's any incentive for him to go out there and even think that, oh, if I break my contract, I can go sign with another team and I'll play in the NHL again, unless the team that he signs with, should this scenario play out this way, is in Finland or something. I don't really think there's too much concern to be had with Sammy Niku in this respect, but of course, it is something that I thought was important enough to at least bring up because Sammy Niku does have himself an interesting enough profile, I think, where there could be some interest should he go to the free agent market, but nobody went out there and claimed this guy for free. He is still going to be in the Montreal system, and he'll just be doing whatever it is he'll be doing with Laval. Now, you could go out there and debate whether or not this was the best move for the Canadians in terms of choosing who sticks in their lineup and who doesn't, but 
I'd argue that from a cap management point of view, you don't really care about who plays on this team from now until after the trade deadline. All you care about after the trade deadline is as long as Ben Sherrod is gone, you're good. So talk to me in the comments what do you think about Sammy Niku sticking around here. What do you think is the plan for this guy now? He got sent down on waivers, he went unclaimed. What now? Is it Laval? Is it dominating in Laval? Does he stay the season in Laval? Or does he eventually get called back up? Talk to me in the comments on your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this Vishra Ashros and I and I. And... Bye.